Florida minimum wage went up five cent as of midnight. Five cent, five cent, five cent. Florida minimum wage went up tonight at midnight, last night at midnight, Ashley. We have not had a raise in two years. Now the state of Florida gave us five cent raise. That five cent will make a difference in our pay. Hell, we won't even see that raise on our checks. I look at it like this. Our parents survive on a lot less than we make it now and live good off the low wages with both parents making our honest living. With that being said, we can afford to do the same by putting our wants on hold and provide what we need to survive. We should be good. I know some say time has changed. Yes, I agree. Time have changed. The price of living not keeping up with these low pay rates in Florida. I believe the reason Florida minimum wage is that low is due to we are the only state that don't pay state tax. America look at Florida as a tourist and retirement state, meaning people come here to enjoy their hard work by living good on retirement funds that bring more money into the state. Other comes on vacation, known as tourists. We all know majority of Florida build attractions for the tourists. They spend thousands of dollars into the attractions daily. That is why all the theme parks continue to build new attractions, malls, and whatever else they believe would attract the tourists and retired people. Florida is one of the states where if you won't born into money or not rich, there's no good way to prosper here. If you have a criminal record, Florida don't believe in giving convicted felons or violent felons second chances. That is why a lot of people are moving out of Florida. I have to admit, I did achieve a lot in two years on 805 through a lot of hard work, dedication, and sacrifice. That is why I am looking forward to seeing what I can achieve on 810 an hour. I will admit, it is hard to find good jobs in Florida with criminal record, but you can find decent employment where you can make a living. I know I paid child support for two or three children. That alone tell you half of my check. Child support is the reason I work two jobs to make a living after child support deductions. However, you can make a good living if you're not on child support. Your pay rate is 18 times 40 hours a week. That is $324 before tax are taken out. The average citizen claim at least five dependents that way they take less out for taxes. They take $30 in taxes, that leaves the average person $294 a week. That total, $1,174 a month after taxes. I don't know about you. I don't know about you guys. I could live good with that and a part-time job on the side for pocket money. Remember, the more dependents you claim on your W-2 form, on your job, the less they going to take in taxes. Then when you file your taxes at the beginning of the year, they will automatically change your dependents to one. Of course, we all know you can't claim more than two dependents per household. I know I'd rather have more in my check to survive than get fat tax return at the beginning of the year. Because you know, you know tomorrow not promised until tax season. Now, I need to survive on a daily basis. So that's why I'd rather claim the many dependents I can. That way I can get a bigger tax return. That way I get a bigger paycheck every week or bi-weekly or however you get paid. 